Hello, today we're going to learn how to calculate the probabilities of mutually non-exclusive events involving Venn diagram. But what are mutually non-exclusive events? These are two events A and B that do occur at the same time, meaning they share the same outcomes. This is a, this is a good example of the mutually non-exclusive events. If you notice, circle A contains the numbers 1, 5, 4, and 2, where while um, circle B contains 6, 4, and 2. If you notice, they share the same elements or they share the same outcomes or numbers, which are 4 and 2. By the way, this is not 42, this is not 51, it's 5, 1, 4, and 2 from the sample space 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, and 6. Now, how do we find the probability of, of a, uh, event A union B? When we say union, that symbol. Now, how do we find the probability of mutually non-exclusive events A and B? This it, and that probability is represented by P of A, and you see the symbol. That means union, sometimes they, they read it as OR, meaning it's a combination of event A and OR B. So they combine, and how do we find it? It's, it's equal to the probability of A plus probability of B minus the probability of A, and this one, this symbol, it means intersection or end. Now, why are, why are we subtracting the probability of A intersection B? Because if you notice, going back to this diagram, uh, the intersection 4 and 2 happens twice inside circle A and inside circle B. So we don't want to uh, uh, count it twice. So how do we find the probability? Now, um, the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A. What is probability of A? Meaning, how many numbers do you see inside the circle? Obviously, there are four numbers inside circle A. So that's four out of what? Out of the total number of sample space. How many numbers are in the sample space? From one to six, there are six. So it's four over six. Plus the probability of B. Meaning the circle B. How many, how many numbers do you see inside circle B? The six, the four, and the two. There are three numbers inside circle B out of, again, the sample space is equal to six. Minus, now looking at the intersection, four and two. So there are two numbers inside the intersection over six or out of six. Now, since they have all the same denominator, we just simply copy that, add the numerators, 4 plus 3, minus 2. Now, 4 plus 3 is 7, minus 2 is 5, so that's 5 out of 6. That's how you find the probability of A union B or the probability of mutually non-exclusive events. How do you validate your answer from the previous work? So again, when you say probability of A and then this symbol union B, obviously when you say union, it's a combination. Let's write it down. Again, the, right here, it's a combination of events A and B. If we, if just merely counting the numbers, the number of numbers inside circles A and B, 
Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five numbers inside the combinations, the combination of circles A and B out of what? Out of the sample space, which is six. And we got the same answer as this. And that's how you validate your answer. Now you might be wondering where does this three belong? It belongs to the, 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 the universal set since it's part of the sample space. However, it doesn't belong to, obviously, it doesn't belong to circle A or event A nor event B. Now let's try to introduce another event C where uh, th th that that's event C contains two, I mean, two and three. Now, if we want to find the probability, let's say probability of event B union C, and that is obviously the probability of B plus the probability of C and their intersection. Let's see. Now, what's the probability of B? As we all know, it's three over six. That's the total number of sample space. C is how many events? One and two. I mean, how many numbers inside event C? There are two out of six minus, and then their intersection. Now, you, you need to, you need to uh, ignore the other cir uh, circle A so that you will be able to find the probability between uh, events B and C. So what is the intersection between circle B and circle C? It's two, so, I, so therefore there's only one number out of six. Again, since they have the same denominator, we just simply copy it, add three plus two minus one, and that is, 3 plus 2, that's 5, minus 1, that's 4 out of 6. Or, if you want to reduce it, that divided by 2, that is 2 out of 3. Now, how do you validate? You just simply count all the numbers inside circles A, B, and C. These are, obviously, there are four numbers inside both of them. 4 out of 6, which is 2 over 3. 